Before arriving in the Perinaldo, we recommend you go to the top of the so-called Poggio dei Peccatori, hillock of sinners. Here you can imagine the time when sinners were forced to kneel on maize grains for an entire night. But above all, from here you can see the village perched on a ledge suspended between two deep valleys. In the evening, in Perinaldo, you must certainly ask to be let into the Astronomical Observatory, a place where you can admire the sky and appreciate what Mr. Alberto tells us about this place. Looking into the telescope, you project your thirst for knowledge. You deepen the idea of immensity and take a journey through time. It is the only true way to time travel because looking into the space we see what happened a thousand, ten, ten thousand, a million years ago and so back to the beginning of the cosmos. The importance of Perinaldo from a cultural point of view is well known as the town is the birthplace of great people such as Domenico Cassini the famous astronomer, not to mention the Maraldi family, all members of the Paris Academy of Sciences. Mr. Francesco has just emphasized the deep roots that science has in this village. It must be said, however, that where there is a science, there is also doubt, research, a desire for change, and if then, As in this case, we talk about astronomy, we must recognize that astronomy often borders on astrology. Exploring this border, you can then end up in even more obscure places. In Perinaldo, if you go into the historical center, you will realize something peculiar. This is a town where esotericism surfaces. Secrets here are many, some unveiled, others yet to be revealed. If you are seduced by these suggestions, Perinaldo will begin to speak to you of Templar Knights and symbolisms of the occult. In Perinaldo, when an ancient wall was demolished, an ancient Hebrew Kabbalah was found, of which only three copies exist in the world. This book was also sought after by the necromancer Cagliostro, who in fact came here to look for it even though he didn't find it. In this place the Holy Inquisition could not be absent, which burnt here the beautiful Perinetta Pizia, who was considered a witch. Here she is depicted as a beautiful woman, The deed of condemnation reports the gossip of the women of the time who considered Perinetta a witch, giving free rein to the jealousy that her beauty inspired. In the deed, it is said that the smell of this poor woman's burnt flesh flooded the alleys. Having said this, let's refresh our sense of smell and also taste in a good restaurant. And if you come here in the right season, ask for the Perinaldo Violet Artichoke. It is a delicious vegetable, you can taste it in, in different ways, but I recommend eating it raw with a little extra virgin olive oil. Good food does not need to be processed.